Here are some of the weirdest ways money has been found. Number 9. Couch Lumps Three roommates from New Paltz, New York got more than what most people ever will with buying a $20 couch from Goodwill. Reese Workhoven, Callie Guasti, and Lara Russo realized that the uncomfortable lumps in their couch pillows were actually envelopes stuffed with money. After two months of owning the couch, even though it was cheap, they still decided to do something about the uncomfortable lumps in the couch pillows. They opened up the cushions and discovered envelopes filled with money. In total, they pulled out over $40,000 cash out of their $20 couch. The discovery was like a dream for them since all of them didn't have much money because they were either in college or recent college graduates. After counting the money, the group discussed what they would buy with their share of the cash. That is, until they noticed a name attached to the envelopes. With this discovery, they decided that the right thing to do in the end was to return the money. After a bit of digging, they found the family that the couch initially belonged to and went to meet them. They discovered that the money belonged to a widower whose husband had left the money for her in the case that he wasn't around to take care of her. She had chosen to remain anonymous to avoid publicity. The money had represented decades of savings, including wages from the woman's job as a florist. For years, the woman slept on the couch, but her recent back problems led to her daughter and son-in-law replacing the couch with a bed. That meant the couch had to go. The woman simply forgot she had hidden money in her couch. The three roommates each received a $1,000 reward for their troubles and honesty. Number 8. Bathroom Cash a contractor was hired by his old friend from high school to remodel her house. He's busy demolishing the bathroom, but as the wall crumbles down and the air fills with the dust of destruction, the contractor can see something inside the walls. He peers through the hole he just made and sees a lockbox hanging from a wire. Clicking open the old latch revealed envelopes filled with money from the Depression era of American history. He had stumbled onto a treasure that someone had hidden a long time ago. This sounds like a scene out of a movie, right? Well, it's the exact scenario contractor Bob Kitts found himself in as he stood looking at the cash he had just discovered. The amount? About 182,000 bucks. The homeowner was a woman named Amanda Reese, and when she got the call from Kitts about the find, she couldn't believe her ears. Next thing you know, Reese and Kitts are both taking selfies with the cash. But there's a problem. Reese and Kitts didn't agree on the split. She offered 10%, but Kitts wanted 40%. So they went to court. And because they went to court, the family of the person who had stashed the money got involved when they read the story in the newspaper. Patrick Dunn was the wealthy businessman who stashed the cash in the walls. However, by the time they had gotten involved, there was little money left. Roughly $60,000 of the cash supposedly went missing. That was what Reese had told the judge, even though she never filed a police report. She also had spent around 14 grand on a trip to Hawaii and sold off some of the rare 1920s bills. In the end, the judge ruled that a whopping 21 descendants of Patrick Dunn were entitled to the remaining share. Was that $60,000 ever stolen? Number 7. Unexplained in any manner of police work, vigilance is of the utmost importance. Officers always are on the lookout for crime or people in need of help. A little luck doesn't hurt either. In southwest London, two police officers were on the street when they noticed Rusian Shemstudinov struggling with large bags that he was putting in a car. So they walked over to ask some questions and they discovered that all his bags were filled with cash that he couldn't explain the source of. The officers took him into custody and investigated the apartment that he came out of. Inside the building, they found a whopping 5 million pounds in cash. During their investigation, two more men were arrested, Sergius Ozens and Sirwan Amari. They were all convicted on charges of conspiracy. Ozens was identified as the large-scale money launderer for his clients. Unfortunately for him, he has the distinction of being the guy who had the largest cash seizure ever made by London police. Number 6. Roof Stash The Hilu family had stashed money and jewelry in their roof. However, they weren't the only ones to know about the stash in the roof. They found out the hard way when their neighbor, Tai Jiam Nguyen, secretly stole money from inside their house. The Hilus are a very religious family that follow Muslim laws. In accordance with the Quran, the father refused to keep his money in the bank where the money would accumulate interest, something that Sharia law forbids. So instead, they hid their cash in the attic. The entire family, which included five adult kids, stored all their money up there. 
They ended up with over $467,000 in the roof before the money disappeared. Through their own investigation, the family discovered that their intellectually disabled son named Walid had revealed the location to their neighbor. The Hilu family had only handwritten tallies about the amount of money stashed in their roof. The Hilus were convinced Mr. Nguyen was the main culprit. They became convinced that Nguyen was the one who took it since he went on a spending spree that included buying properties and renovating his own house. The Hilus were able to bring the case to court and convince the judge Nguyen was the man who had stolen their life savings. They were able to track Nguyen's finance. They found the new bank accounts he had opened and the efforts he had made to avoid scrutiny as he deposited the cash. The judge also heard evidence from Walid and a neighbor who said he had seen Nguyen enter their house carrying a ladder. Nguyen was found guilty and ordered to pay back $467,500. Number 5. Attic Treasure After hearing some rumors about the possibility of money being hidden in their house in the past, one Massachusetts family hired a professional treasure hunter to find out if the claim was true. Keith Willie was called to search the house in a last-ditch effort to find the fabled hidden cash. The family had hired carpenters to try and find the money before, but after the cost started to add up, they gave up. But they gave it one more shot since they were planning to sell the house and they wanted to give it one last shot. It didn't take Keith long as he was a skilled treasure seeker and soon found some cracks in the floorboards. He took his endoscopic camera, stuck it down into the cracks, and saw something weird with a latch. He pulled up the boards, discovering a box filled with packets of money. The total amount was over $46,000 cash, and it took him just under an hour to find almost 50 grand in cash. Not only were they able to locate the money before they sold their house, but they also had an old family mystery solved for them. A family member who only identified herself as Karen said the discovery finally came true after decades of the family knowing the rumors of the stack. Number 4. $127,000 Desk Phil LeCleric bought an old desk for 40 bucks. Instead of just buying a desk, he also bought himself a moral dilemma. LeCleric had purchased an antique Governor Winthrop secretary desk at an auction. The seller had auctioned the desk off to help pay for his father's assisted living expenses. When LeCleric bought it, the desk was missing a knob. Since the knob was missing, he searched every crevice of the desk and tilted and smacked the desk in hopes that a missing knob would fall out. Instead, an envelope dropped out. Inside, LeCleric discovered bonds that had matured back in 1992. After counting it all up, the man realized he was holding $127,000 worth of bonds. Without hesitation, LeCleric decided to give it back to the previous owners. He contacted the auction house he bought it at and was told that the family had been searching for the bonds for years. According to antique experts, Governor Winthrop desks have developed a reputation over the years for hiding long-forgotten items in the secret drawers and compartments that's characteristics of the desks. Number 3. $45,000 Lesson Back in 2011, Josh Farron was going through the garage of his new home. He and his family had just closed on their new house, and Farron was just going through the usual planning anyone would have for a new house. He was checking out the back of his new garage when he looked up and noticed a little access panel in the ceiling with some carpeting jutting out. Sticking his head up into the space, Farron found a heavy ammo box. He figured that it may have been filled with pieces of wood since the box was so heavy. Instead, the ammo box was filled with rolls of bills. There wasn't just one box. There was a total of eight boxes filled with money. After counting all the cash, his family was looking at over $40,000. Farron figured that this was a golden opportunity to teach his children morals over money. He contacted the sellers of his home, who were the kids of the man who had lived in the house, and stashed the cash in the garage. Farron found out the former owner of the house was Arnold Bangerter. He had lived in the house until he passed away in late 2010 when the house was left to his kids. Bangerter had been saving the money up for at least a decade by wrapping rolls of bills and dropping it in the ammo boxes. Number 2. TV Surprise Most people dream of winning a large chunk of money and going on the big spending spree of their life. Well, that wasn't the case for a man from a small village in Bolsover, Ontario when he hid his inheritance inside his television. But the problem for him was he eventually forgot where and how he had his money that his parents left him. He just remembered that it was in the house somewhere. However, one day he decided to give his old TV that was from the 80s to a friend. The television ended up at a recycling plant in 2017, where workers at Global Electric Electronic Processing in Barrie, Ontario busted the TV open, only to be surprised by its contents. Inside the television was $100,000 in $50 Canadian bills. 
General Manager Rick DeChamps was holding his usual morning meeting when another employee rushed in with the news. You may assume that in this situation that the money would disappear into the pockets of the people who found it, but you'd be wrong. The company prides itself on security and turned the money over to the police. After they did a little digging to make sure it wasn't some criminal secret stash, the officers found the rightful owner and reunited him with his inheritance. Interestingly enough, according to the police, having such a large amount of cash hidden inside the back of a TV isn't all that weird. This is because there's a lot of space in the casing of old TV, so a lot of people used to hide valuables in the empty space that was common in TV casings. Number 1. Stomached Colombian woman Sandra Malena Almeida had been having trouble with her husband. She found out that he had been cheating on her, so she began saving money in secret so she could leave him. However, her husband found the cash and confronted her about it. He demanded that she give him half of the cash that she had saved up. She refused, so Sandra began swallowing all the cash she felt was hers. She swallowed roughly $9,000 worth of US $100 bills. The next day, she had to be rushed to the hospital since she had severe abdominal pain. The doctors were able to save around $5,700, but the rest of the money was digested. Click here to watch one of these next videos.